Many people don't realize that there are a lot of options when it comes to mortgage financing. So let's talk about those today. First, let's talk about the government insured loans. Those are for the average home buyer. So you have a first time home buyer program, which would be FHA. You have the VA eligibility, which is also a government insured loan and is available to military. And then you have the USDA loan, which is a rural property mortgage loan. The government insured loans are designed to make home ownership more accessible to the public. So when talking about mortgage loans or talking to a mortgage loan officer, you may hear them throw around terms like conventional and conforming and non-conforming. So let's break that down. So you have your conventional financing, which would be the old school 20% down. There are many variations of that since then. You can get conventional financing with as little as three to 5% down with some lenders. You'll wanna do your research about that. When mortgage loan officers are talking about conforming and non-conforming, they're talking about the loan amount. So under a certain loan amount, and that amount changes or varies year after year, depending on the economy and the need. So the loan limits have recently changed for conforming loans and anything below $726,200 is considered a conforming loan. Anything above that limit is considered a jumbo loan. Conforming loans will have a lower interest rate, they're considered a lower risk, whereas a jumbo loan may have higher interest rates because they are considered a higher risk. So some of the larger banks do have portfolio products for their wealth management clients. These are portfolio programs that the bank holds and services and lends out to its upper echelon clients. So we do have investor friendly loans. You have the hard money loans, which charge a high percentage of origination points, as well as a higher interest rate over a shorter period of time due to the amount of risk. You also have private money loans where a private individual will lend to an investor for the purposes of their project over the short term. Then you'll also have a debt service cover ratio mortgage. And that is for the investor that plans on renting their property out. So if the amount of the rent covers the mortgage and then some, that is what that mortgage is designed to cover. Another loan program that many consumers don't know about is the bridge loan. It's designed to bridge the gap between the sale of a property and the purchase of your new property. Many people need to sell before they're able to purchase their new home, but in an evolving or adjusting market, that may not be the best way to go about it. The bridge loan gives you so many more options. It allows you to use the equity in your current home in order to purchase your new home. While I'm not currently a loan officer, I do have a mortgage background. I'm happy to answer the basic questions and then point you in the right direction once you need a little bit more assistance. If you have any questions or concerns or you'd like to schedule time for a consultation, please use my Calendarly link to schedule time. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow.